going on everyone it's jamie here from shopify masterclass and today we'll be looking at how you can customize your theme code for your shopify store so we're going to show you here how you can access your theme code and how you can make edits also how to create a duplicate so if you make any errors you can quickly revert it back to a working version of your theme so make sure you stay to the end of the video here before i dive into it i just want to thank our sponsor profit calc the one click profit calculator app available on the shopify app store it's going to allow you to skip your spreadsheets and get back to growing your store with real-time calculations it comes with a 15-day free trial and there's a link in the description below to access that trial there i'm also going to show a quick video detailing their full feature set are you a shopify business owner who spends hours doing your accounting have messy spreadsheets kept you from growing your business? Discover ProfitCalc, the affordable and easy to set up Shopify app that crunches your numbers in just one click. It automatically syncs with all your accounts and expenses to calculate your profit, displaying everything in an easy to read dashboard so you understand your business in real time. Start for free on the Shopify app store today. So now let's dive into how you can customize your theme code. I'm just going to start by finding out first how to access that. When you're in your Shopify homepage here, you want to head to the left hand side, click on online store. Once that loads, that's going to lead you to the theme section. Currently, this test store is running the debate theme. And so that's where we're going to make the edits today. And so before you dive into editing any code, I always recommend that you create a duplicate of your current Shopify theme. This way, if you make any errors or you screw anything up along the way, you can quickly revert back to this version so your customers aren't seeing any store that is breaking. You wanna make sure it's alive at all times and working as you're probably gonna be paying for traffic to come to your site. So you don't want that to be wasted ad spend. So how you do that is under this section here, current theme, next to the customize button, there's gonna be three dots. You wanna click those three dots and hit duplicate. It's gonna duplicate everything about that theme. And it's gonna create a copy of it. So it says copy of debate or debut. And you can click the three dots. I'm gonna rename this. I'm just gonna call it the copy here. You could insert the date here. So it's gonna give you a chronological order of the different theme changes you made. And so once you've done that, you can feel free to edit the code and test how it's gonna work. So how to edit the code, you wanna click on those three dots there again, then go down to edit code. Now that's gonna bring up the code editor for your Shopify theme. As it says here, you can edit your themes files. They're all gonna be dot liquid, which is gonna be Shopify's templating version for their themes. So overall, it can be intimidating. There's gonna be quite a few pages. Now where you go is gonna depend on what section of your Shopify site you wanna change. So it could be the card page. It could be the collection page. It could be the password page, the overall page. There are quite a few files here. Now, as mentioned, it's gonna be extremely intimidating. You're gonna not wanna know exactly what you wanna change before you start making any edits. You wanna have to check exactly if it's working because if it's not working, you're going to have to go back and reset it. So you want to have a clear idea of what you want to do before you start doing it. So I'm just going to do an easy example here just to show you the kind of overall process. It's just going to take a few clicks and only a very minor change. But let's say on your blog page, Shopify is going to start paginating these pages when there are 12 or more blog posts. So let's say you have 13 blog posts. It's going to show show more on the next page. It's going to split it up between page one and two. Let's say for whatever reason, I want to make this blog post just one here. I have to go now find in the blog section to find out where it's making that limit and where it's cutting it off. So again, it's just gonna be changing. So it's gonna show one blog post per page rather than up to 12. So the way I do that, I head over to the Shopify blog section. So on the left hand, you can see blog.liquid. So I'm gonna click on that one because that's probably gonna be where the blogs are located. And we can see here that it's located in the section for blog template. So I head over to this section, it's probably gonna include everything related to the blog. And I know it does because I've tested this before recording the video, but just for exploratory sake, let's search for blog template here. Then on the left, we're gonna get blog template.liquid. So that's where this section is located. So once I hit there, there's gonna be quite a bit of code on this page. Now I know this one is on the top here, so we can just edit that. If we take a scroll through, you can see it's just separated into different sections. It's gonna show the page title. Then there's if there's blog tags and it's greater than zero. It's gonna include this element that has a blog filter. You can select by group. Now, if you don't understand HTML, I recommend watching just a quick HTML course. There's probably videos out there as well, understanding the different sections of Shopify's .liquid template files. And that'll give you an overall better understanding. Mainly it just requires reading through here. So I know that this section is located at the top. So it's gonna paginate blog articles by 12. So instead, let's just change that to one. Then if I hit one there and I click save, that should update that section. I'm just gonna add some random text here to show further change. I'm gonna show the page title. I'm just gonna add masterclass blog post just for an extra change here, hit save. Then once I go to the blog page again, I hit that reload button to reload those changes. I can see this section is now news dash masterclass blog posts. So it's gonna be the title section. We can see now it's been paginated by one blog rather than 12. So if I click to the next page, there's my random intro blog post. And here's my random post here. These are posts that were created in another video and there's no real content, but they're great here just for an example to show how to edit the code for your Shopify theme. Now, if you want very theme specific stuff as well, if we head over to assets and you head to 
to theme.js. You also get theme.scss.liquid. This will be more the styling here. This can give you further ability to customize different files for your theme and how certain functions are running. This one was actually .js, so it's going to be JavaScript. This SCSS is going to be a formatting for CSS. So overall, tons of different customizations you can make. I'd really recommend defining what you want to do first and then trying to figure out how to do it. If you just go and start editing things and starting to play around with things, you could very well just make a mistake that is hard to fix. Again, that's where we create a duplicate file, but just to note that there. So overall, this concludes the video on how you can customize your theme code. We went over an example here and just customizing the blog template, not exactly changing the theme settings, but just to give an explanation and an example on how to actually change the theme code and see how it updates. Overall, this concludes the video. If you enjoyed it, I would love it so much if you hit that like and subscribe button below. If you have any questions, leave a comment. Lastly, I want to mention our sponsor, Profit Calc again, the one-click profit calculator app available on the Shopify app store. It comes with a 15-day free trial. There's a link in the description below to check that out there. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in our next video.